Hey everybody, thanks for stopping back. I appreciate it. Checking out Amateur Athlete Skate Shop YouTube channel where we do unboxings, reviews, whatever we feel like doing. So if you want to throw a like, throw a like. If you want to throw a subscribe, we greatly appreciate it. If not, that's cool. Just check out the video. The first video we did was unboxing the Muska White Navy. This time we are staying with the Soul Technology family and we are checking out the OG1 Black White. Mark Johnson. Anyways, the first rendition or color that they did with the OG1 was the White Burgundy. Uh, came out on Skate Shop Day to show love to all those brick and mortar skate shops that support the culture. Uh, Soul Technology does an awesome, you know, awesome thing by supporting the small skate shops. You know, there's some big giants out there, but uh, shows a little love to us small guys who, uh, you know, feed the culture. So the first one was uh, super good uh, turnout, like the burgundy, real super sharp burgundy, uh, did the mesh tongue. Only downfall is everybody was a little upset on the sizing. Um, some shoes I feel were off a little bit more than others, but uh, I mean, it's gonna happen. It's not always gonna be the way we remember it, but uh, Don and everybody at Soltech was nice enough to decide to reissue some of these classic shoes. So, I mean, hey, we gotta show them love. So first one was the burgundy with the cream. Second colorway they hit us with, which was a few weeks ago, was the navy white. Almost looks black. It's a deep, deep midnight navy. Still got the mesh tongue on it. Turned out super cool. Doesn't have the skate shop day insole because it wasn't a special, but still has the America insole. Uh, has the cream back right there. Turned out super good. Still doing the triple stitch front so you can skate it did a few slappies skate around in it for a few minutes still felt good uh, mark johnson did all his super tech stuff in this shoe so i mean everything's there for it that you need um it's not a volk sole so but i mean you'll still get board feel out of it so i mean hey if he can do it why can't we right yeah right but anyways uh navy white was super cool this week, dropping in October, not October, I keep saying October because these months go too damn fast, but November 2nd, 11-2, they're hitting us with the black-white. Everybody's been wanting this colorway. Um, it's Felper from Thrasher Magazine's favorite uh, colorway, one of his favorite shoes. was always uh, speaking highly of it. You know, you can cut to a picture of him skating in it. But yeah, it turned out really good. Uh, the side white is definitely more of a cream than the bright white that is on the bottom. But hey, it looks super good. The bottom white matches the in inside uh, leather on the collar there. Um, the side white matches the black, the back right there. So it turned out super good. Still has the lace holes on there. If you want to get a little bit tighter squeeze, has the white America insole, which turned out good. Still did a perforated, so you'll get the airflow in there. Um, has the holes on the side, so you can get that stinky stinky out of there, and you can get some airflow in there. Turned out super good. Uh, the fit, I feel like they tried to get it a little bit closer. I'm a 10 and a half and I only went down to a 10. So I didn't go down to a nine and a half like some people needed to in the white burgundy. But hey, you can queue to a 3D floating levitating view of the OG1, which turned out pretty sick. Uh, Mark Johnson, shoe originally came out in 98 to 2000 
after MJ left, that is when that all stopped. I think he left and went to Lakai, if I remember correctly, which was still epic and awesome. But hey, it's uh, another classic reissue. Don put it out there, asked the uh, core collectors, you know, what shoe do you think uh, the people want and what colorways? And uh, apparently this was on uh, higher up there on the list. So that's what they gave us. I mean, it turned out really good classic classic silhouette if you don't want to pay eight hundred dollars like they are going for on youtube for the originals you can get the next best best thing at aa 1982 uh for 95 dollars so not too bad i mean i'm not paying 800 for originals that will probably fall apart but hey i mean we'll get the next best thing, right? A very, very, very close replica. Fits still good. I mean, it's a wider toe front, wider toe cap. So it's gonna be a little bit wider than the standard stuff. A lot of the things on the market today, a lot of the silhouettes are a lot, of, you know, skinnier, slimmer stuff. So, I mean, definitely possibly get in a half size. If you wanna check them out, hit the shop up aa1982.com thanks for stopping by and checking it out again uh we'll be back with a new shoe maybe a new board release who knows what's next but i uh, appreciate all the love and if you want to do the this the that the like subscribe whatever appreciate you guys stopping by thank you